Hi, this is Pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, I want to tackle the subject of supplementing with zinc. And we're going to look at, um, is it a good idea, basically. And I'm going to walk you through what happens in your body so it can help you understand that zinc is not something you should supplement with lightly. Okay, it's, it's very dose dependent and there's things going on in your, body, in your body when you supplement with zinc that can have downstream effects that you don't want. Okay, so uh, let's hop into the basics. First of all, zinc does some very critical things in your body, one of which, yes, it helps your immune system. Yes, it's involved in testosterone production. So it is very important, but we have to look at why are you supplementing? If your diet is on point, you really shouldn't need it, okay? Um, now, if your diet's not on point, supplementing with zinc is going to be the least of your problems. We have to fix the diet first. If you have, there's really no need. Now let's say you do supplement with zinc. Now you need to understand those downstream effects I was talking about, okay? So we're going to go through just a little bit of biochemistry here, but it's important for you to understand this, okay? When you supplement with zinc, and many studies showing this, okay, it's metallothionine. I'm going to call it MT very difficult to say so we're just MT from here on out but these are compounds in your body that help you regulate the metals in your body so zinc uh, copper and iron those are all kind of regulated with these MTs so when you take zinc MTs go up and here's what we see happen all right so we supplement with zinc MT goes up as soon as MT goes up it goes out and begins to bind copper in your body. Copper is kind of an unsung hero in your body and some of the things that it does. When it binds that copper, we see copper levels go down. And here's the downstream effects that I was talking about. When you supplement with zinc and we see copper levels go down, we also see these things happen. We see more oxidative stress. Um, why you know everybody's big on the antioxidants. We, we generally don't want more oxidative stress, but that's what we see. We, you will also see, or you can see your cholesterol levels go up. You will see your absorption of copper. Obviously you have less in your body, so you are now absorbing less copper. And then you have seroplasmin production, which goes down, which seroplasmin is basically uh, carries copper around in your body. You need it to get copper around in your body. These are all things that ideally we don't want, but let's even go downstream more. What we see in our organ function is, and, and uh, organ and, and gland function is we see poor thyroid function. Uh, metabolism will go down. We see uh, problems with energy production, ATP production. And the last thing we see is that you're gonna see iron levels go up in your body, okay? Thing to remember is that when you supplement with zinc, it zinc and iron compete for absorptive sites in the body. So if zinc goes up, iron is gonna have a tough time getting into the cells, so we have a buildup of iron, and people say, well, I'm giving blood. Well, that's great, you can give blood and you'll see iron levels go down temporarily, but you'll see it bump right back up because you have iron recycling issues in your body. And that's what people don't think about. And that's why, you know, I made a video about supplementing with vitamin D. People don't think, hey, maybe I should try to get my vitamin D naturally through some foods, through sensible sun exposure. They don't think that. They always think supplementation. Same with zinc. It's like you always are gonna have things going on in your body that are compensating for that. And they're not always good. Now, I do want to point out, most of the studies that looked at zinc supplementation, they were upwards of 50 milligrams a day of zinc. That's a lot. So I'm not saying you can never supplement with zinc. What I'm trying to get through is that if you do supplement with zinc, A, it tells you that something's not square in your body. Something You're not doing something right with your diet. And B, you need to understand that you're, you will have downstream effects. How long that will take and how severe it will be, nobody really knows. But get your diet dialed in. You won't need to supplement with zinc. And if you do decide to supplement with zinc, go low, go slow. You don't need 
to supplement with extreme amounts of zinc. So um, let me know in the comments, do you supplement with zinc? What have been the effects? How do you feel? Um, good or bad, doesn't matter. It helps me, it helps other people watching the video and it just adds value to, to the whole process. Speaking of adding value, I hope the video was valuable and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.